Hey folks, Atreus Monk here, playing some more Europa Universalis 4 as the Aztecs. We're kind of waiting on some diplomatic technology right now. Also hoping that, you know, these other countries... Oh, oh, Portugal is Tech 21. Darn it. I, I feel like I'm never going to catch up to them. And I'm focused on military right now. I am focused on military to the extreme detriment of my admin technology and my religious ideas. I, I really need that right there. Oh. What? The hazardous coast of Peru. What, 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 huh? A California node. Affecting Mexico. So my privateering ships died? Is, is that what I'm, is that what I'm hearing? I think that's what I'm hearing. Is that my privateering ships died. Which I suppose is fine because they were kind of overloading me with um they were kind of overloading me with um bleh, with inflation I mean not a whole lot they'd catch a fleet every now and then they'd catch a treasure fleet going to one of the Europeans okay so I want to try something here right now this may not be the best idea to do this right now. I'm going to wait until uh, January. Because we're currently ahead of time and we're about to not be. And that gives about 20% extra trade power, I think. Yeah, 20% trade efficiency when you're ahead of time in Diplotech. Okay, so I want to see, okay, we made 16.3 in trade with this setup. Happens if we tell our guy to force trade to the Mississippi River node. I'm going to bet we're going to lose money on the deal, but I just want to see. I want to see what happens. Our embargoes on others, embargoes on us. Yeah, 13.47. Yeah, if we had more control of this, it probably wouldn't be so bad, but we don't. Mm, I was going to say I'd go ahead and start a war with the Chickasaw right now. But, oh, really? Debased currency. Lose prestige, gain inflation. Dang it. Let's pay down some of that inflation. Really wish there was inflation guy. There is, but, you know, he's a plus three. We don't make that much money. And I was going to say, well, we'd start a war with the Chickasaw, but in addition to wanting the capability to create a client state, I want the imperialism, uh, Cassus Belly, because that, well, just a better Cassus Belly for us, I think. Come on, there we go. We can take diplomatic technology and now we're 13 years ahead. So we get that plus 20% trade power for a while. Uh, we're gonna have to 
Raise our maintenance all the way up. Now if I declare a war here, we could declare conquest, we could declare colonial conquest. I guess even though I have the advanced Cassus Belly, I can't use them on... Possibly I can't use them on such a, relatively speaking, lesser... Oh, it's because we have a truce. That's right, we have a truce for like two more years. Ah, dang it. Okay, well, well, we'll just wait. It's no great loss. Suppose I could declare colonial conquest over here, though. Alright, naval supplies is up. Oh. Oh, okay. We hadn't yet actually gained the advanced Cassus Belly. Kind of funny that. I guess you gotta wait till the next month. Okay, so. These have, like, yeah, okay. We're going to. Select the army. Shift oh. consolidate there. Want one of you. And one of you. Go over there. One. And one. And select this one. Let's go over here. Let's go take out their army. While we send those two militaries, send those two detachments to siege. We have changed the culture of another province. And we were doing that to try to burn down some of our, um, some of our excess diplomatic points, which we'd had at the time. Now we doing in terms of the cost of this 366 power compared to 360 yeah they're gonna take those just fine um I will I could swear that there's a way... Oh, it's up here. It's If you click that, you can detach those. Send those cannons over there. It'll help them take that down a little faster. <laughs> Three more years and the... Uh, Revolt risk will go up greatly over here. Yay! I could get that military idea, but no, no, need to catch up on technology. Siege of Navajo. March, just march all these guys over there. It'll be a little bit more. Oh, hey, there we go. Colonize Kanoi. Let's recall our guy from Salish over here. I'm really kind of surprised that Kanoi has not been um oh no they rose up and died and killed 20 of our men it is the end of us are going to we'll annex you
fine. But then we're going to create a client state. Uh, new Navajo. My dynasty, monarchy, go. Yeah, sure, whatever. Um, and then assign province to New Navajo. Oh no, we've gained the imperialism cast his belly against our own little guy here. Yeah. Oh, Aztec gets colonial enthusiasm. Okay. Recall. Oh no. Now, where was that guy? He's up here, and he was in here in Quapaw. You know what? We're not going to worry about Quapaw right now. Um. I kind of want to be able to go over into here, but I can't yet because I haven't taken anything from the Chickasaw. Is there anything over here that I can colonize that I give a crap about? Uh, I think there's a place in the ledger. Not the save menu, the ledger. We can look at maybe economy? No. There we go. Possible colonies. Ooh, hey. Chesapeake. Oh, well, that's Kanoi. I don't want Kanoi. I suppose I could expand down here into these places that... That's... Yeah, that's low enough. I could actually just send a guy down there and just not worry about it. Because those guys can only take like 50 people off a settlement at a time and they're not very aggressive so they won't attack very often so close I'm going to be in December of 1676 what is this war that the Chickasaw are in right now? There ain't a war. The Creek. The Chickasaw Purge of Creek Heresy. Huh. Yeah, that's not going your way at all, man. At all. Excellent. Uh, who. Yeah, gain of mercantilism. You guys are supposed to be in Mississippi River Node. Uh, that was no, that was Quapaw. That was up here. Yep. Spend that little bit of admin points. Oh, really? Because we are not entirely religiously unified. Yay. Got seven more years of nationalism. I 
These guys will be, uh, in about two more years, they'll start wanting to... Oh, hey! How nice! They just have, you know, no... They got nothing over there. Our truce with the Chickasaw has ended. Let's declare war on the Chickasaw. Because we can. Okay. So, let's see. We got this improved one here. 75% aggressive expansion, 100% prestige, 75% diplomatic power, and 75% cost for conquest of all that. Yes. We shall declare war. We shall declare war against you, not least of which because I think you're currently, like, drastically, um... Like, you probably have no military at the moment. There's an army organizer now. Mm. Not gonna take the Grand Fleet mission. I don't know that we could make Great Britain like us, so let's cycle the missions. That's right, we have a vassal now. Forgot about that. Huh. Oh. Dang, a Cineboin. Attacking my previous colonial protector squad. We can take military tech. more for the fact that it would kill the morale of units I actually need I would you know take these things what is gonna be the coring cost here 45 Go up there and sit on the Ascendant Boyne. Oh, you have taken land into there. Yep, I'll take you out some point here too. Did I make you Nahuatl? Yes, I did. more morale damage. Oh look, the new Navajo army is coming over here. And we have protect against Spain. We need an army 
larger than or equal to Spain's. That should be fairly easy if they stay at 53. Uh, was that just picking? Yeah. Cannons. Build more cannons. We have infantry combat ability and we have other things that are good. Fully defensive ideas up there. Really? Really? We won the siege of Tennessee. And we have protected against Spain. Seems like a good way to get five army tradition to me. We, no, we do not have any. Oh, let's see. Construct a grand fleet. Rival of a rival. Nope. Cycle these. All right, folks. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Please join me next time when we will take these guys and probably make a client state out of them because we need some way to spend this diplomatic power. Yeah. All right. Well, until then, bye-bye.